Gina Moje is an institution in Croatia, not just here, but in this part of Europe. Every year, we play at least in the Europa League, and now we've reached the Champions League, which was our target. Year in, year out, Dinamo shows it is one of the biggest clubs in this region of the world. Playing their matches near the National Theatre, Dinamo Zagreb started life as Grandanski Zagreb, one of the major clubs in the city. After the Second World War, they became Dinamo Zagreb, competing in the Yugoslavian League, which they won four times, along with the Intercities Fairs Cup in 1967. Under the former regime, in what used to be Yugoslavia, they told us not to say that we were Croatian because that was forbidden and it was dangerous to declare yourself Croatian. So instead, you said that you were Dinamovats, and that is what we were, a symbol of Croatia and a symbol of support. So we are truly proud of our club. Once the Croatian League was formed, Dinamo were dominant. They'd won 17 titles so far. In 2015, they made it 10 in a row. During a season when they were virtually Unplayable. Last year was the tenth championship we won in a row. The tenth time in a row. We were undefeated, so that went down in the club's history. We were very happy about that, and I think that last season was a very strong season for us. Everyone is proud of that achievement. Winning the title for the 10th consecutive year was historic for us. It was a massive thing for ourselves and for the whole club. Success is something that Dinamo have come to expect. Their history is blessed with trophies, won by great players. Here we see Luka Modric, who now plays for Real Madrid, one of the world's greatest footballers. Sure, Luka, Igor Sitanovic, who had one of the best shots in the history of Dinamo. This is Robert Prozanecki. This trophy is the biggest in the club's history, the Europa League as we know it today, or as it was then, the UEFA Cup. This is the generation that won the UEFA Cup. Here we have Kranchar, Mlinaric, a Dinamo legend, Zonomir Boban, a legend of Croatian football, and Davos Shuker. And of course, the most important, here he is, that is me. To produce so many stars, the club have always needed to keep their eyes on the future. That's why their youth system is so valued. That is the most important part of our club. Our youth set up is our biggest asset. They are the ones that bring us to the level that we've reached. That is why Dinamo invests so much in the youth teams, not only financially, but also in terms of staff, as the club employs a lot of people. We send a lot of scouts around the Croatian region where they can come across young and talented players. Naturally, it's a former Dinamo man who's responsible for the youth scheme, Mario Sitanovic. We have a very good system and players realize that only through quality and hard work can they achieve something and that when they reach the top clubs, they can't relax. Modric and Kovacic, Mandzukic and Eduardo de Silva. All of the players are definitely role models for the youngsters. As are Choluka, Lovren and all of those players, countless numbers of quality footballers who have passed through the youth system of Dinamo. This is a good combination. Of course, the younger players are promoted and most importantly, the club is successful. I also think that this has been a good balance over the years and you can see this clearly from the results. So, when one player leaves the club, there is always a youngster hungry to take his place. The downside is that for each outstanding youth scheme's success, there will always be a departure. Every time someone leaves the club, there is a feeling of emptiness. But Dinamo always replaces them quickly with a new talent, and that's why we are so strong. I hope that one day I will play for one of the biggest teams in Europe. But of course, I have to work on myself and work on my game to get to that point. 
i to je naša realnost. This is our reality and regardless of the contracts that we have with them we have to weigh up the situation and find a way to keep these players happy, satisfied and motivated to stay here at Dinamo and perform at their best. If there's a secret, Zoran Mamic talks of the family atmosphere that's always permeated the club. A deeper sense of purpose that's kept Dinamo Zagreb at the top of Croatian football for so long. We have reached such a high level, and that's what constantly motivates us. Our motto is never give up, even in the face of the biggest adversity. And that's definitely one of the reasons why Dinamo is so successful.